hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is miracle in today's video i'll be sharing with you two ways you can make your homemade chicken bouillon if today is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by please don't forget to subscribe to this channel follow this page like share and comment for you to be Notify whenever a new video is being uploaded to my returning subscribers a very big thank you and let's get started To begin I have four chicken laps properly washed and clean Now I went ahead to dry them up using my paper towel Once done I seasoned the chicken with some salt Yeah, once that is done I went ahead and placed them on a baking pan lined with parchment paper Yeah now place in an oven and bake not to dry or you can as well cook the chicken if that is how you prefer yours and let me introduce you to the ingredients here we have leek celery spring onions Dell Coriander Chives Here we have parsley. Now I'll be going off camera to give them a properly a nice wash. Yeah, as you can see, we are done with the washing. Now I went ahead to cut and slice them. Once I'm done, I will set it aside. Feel free to use any vegetable of your choice. looking at it here we are done slicing and cutting so now we are going to introduce the next set of ingredients here we have coal rabi celery root ginger we have some carrots you can use more or less of it. Red bell pepper. Onions. Fresh garlic. Next, we have parsnets. Here are the vegetables, so I'll be going off camera to give them a lovely and gently wash. Once I'm done, I'll go ahead and start peeling off the skin, slice, cut into tiny pieces, or as you prefer, yes. Okay? Once I'm done with all the cutting scene, yeah, I will now set them aside.
next our chicken is done grilling this is how it should be like yeah not to over grill or pounds yeah now i went ahead to separate the flesh from the bone one stone cut into tiny parts and set aside next i'm going ahead to introduce the seeds so here we have black pepper cumin seed Here we have anna seed and cardamom seed. Gloves. Some salt. Now all our seeds and vegetables are ready. Next, in a clean dry pot, add in little vegetable oil. Allow it to heat up. Once that is done, add in the onions, stir fry for about two minutes. After two minutes, now go ahead and pour in all the seeds and stir fry for like four to five minutes. Four minutes now, it's time to add in all the vegetables as I'm doing here on the screen which I'll be adding in bit by bit. Stay at the same time until I'm done adding them up. The more it's heating up, it is also reducing in quantity. And here we are done adding all the vegetables. Now I went ahead and added in the chicken mix until it is well incorporated. Now add in the salt and keep stirring the vegetables until they releases their juice okay once you start noticing the juice cover the vegetable and cook over on low heat for about eight minutes exactly eight minutes now open the pot stir and turn off the heat and let it cool down completely Once it is done cooling down, transfer into the blender. Blend until it is smooth or roughly blended depending on your choice. You can as well use your food processor or electric hand mixer or in whichever way you prefer yours. As you can see here, I'm done with the blending. Now I went ahead and spread it on a baking pan lined with parchment paper or in whichever way you prefer yours okay once i'm done spreading it out so i went ahead and wrap it up using my foil nylon. now put it in the freezer for the whole night for the second method, that is the powdered form, I spread the mixture lined with some parchment paper using my dehydrator to dry them up. So I repeated this process until I'm done using up the mixture. Once I'm done, cover it and let it dehydrate for 9 hours. Or depending on the type of dehydrator you are using, okay? the next morning good morning everyone yeah 
I took the mixture out from the freezer. As you can see, it is well frozen. Gently take it out from the pan and remove the baking paper. Now it is time to cut into cube form or you can cut your desired size or shape. Once I'm done cutting, I started wrapping it up one after the other using foil. As I'm doing it here on the screen. I repeated this process until I'm done using them up. And we are done. Look at how it looks so nice, right? So the next step, let's check on the dehydrator. As you can see, the mixture has already dried up, well dried up, yeah. Next, we went ahead to separate it from the parchment paper. And here we are done taking it out, out from the parchment paper. So the next, we're going to add it into the blender and blend until it is smooth. Now I'm done blending, pour the blended mixture into a sieve and start to sieve it out. Yeah, the reason of doing this is to achieve a very nice and smooth consistency. In case there is any lumps, pour it back into the blender and blend until it is smooth again, okay? Next, as you can see, we are done. The aroma was so amazing and refreshing, honestly. Very smooth and nice. It looks like curry powder, right? But it is not. Feel free to test it, which I did here. So I went ahead to test the liquid one by adding one cube into a cup, add some hot water to reach there to dissolve. Okay, you can see how rich it looks, right? That is it guys, we have pulled the liquid cube form and the powdered form. So tell me in the comment section, which of them do you prefer? To me, I think I'm going for the powdered one, right? For the liquid one, store using your Ziploc bag. Once done, place it in the freezer for as long as you want. For the powdered one, store in an airtight container and enjoy in any cooking recipe of your choice. Honestly, it tastes super good and homemade chicken bouillon is the best. No chemical, no preservative. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you all for watching and remain blessed. Bye.